Hi, I'm Wasim Tanahi, I'm the CEO of Media Republic. Media Republic is a full service advertising agency. We're what we call a through the line agency that works in digital, TV, outdoors, and radio. We also publish our own digital media. Our websites include Cairo360.com, CairoGossip.com, and Kalem al These websites comprise 75% of the lifestyle websites available in Egypt. So I've been asked if there are any opportunities that may arise from the coronavirus crisis for entrepreneurs. The simple answer is absolutely. Entrepreneurs by their nature identify a problem and a solution for that problem. And this is the biggest problem the world has faced, society as a whole has faced for over a hundred years if not longer. There'll be opportunities that arise from teleconferencing, we're all working from home, we're all seeing the challenges that are posed by that. I'm sure thousands of people around the world are experiencing those same problems and thinking of how to resolve them. You'll also see improvements in e-commerce, contactless delivery, you might even see a new trend uh, you know, uh, uh, arising from what people have been calling Corona Couture, the design of protective gear, face masks, and all sorts of other things. If you're wondering what areas to focus on and invest in after the COVID-19 crisis, uh, I think the answer to that would be twofold. Firstly, there's the obvious one, healthcare. Uh, healthcare is already a top three uh, investment sector in the Middle East. Um, you're going to see uh, a lot of healthcare companies scrambling to provide governments the support they need in the short term and in the long term pandemic management controls uh, which, which will be benefit to not just governments but to private companies, hospitals and so on. Something I think will be a really interesting area to watch would be telehealth. This is, this is something that's already here, um, not widespread. And I think the idea that you can talk to a patient through uh, your screen or through your camera without getting you know, a risk of contagion from that patient, that technology could offer a lot of opportunities and it's definitely one to watch. The second answer to that question is not what sectors or areas will be interesting for investment, but how you invest in different industries and areas in general. Historically, growth potential has been the singular most important KPI for companies. With a crisis that's so global, like the coronavirus crisis, and the way it's affected all companies, big and small, I think more KPIs or more aspects will come into your decision making, such as the cash reserves of the company, their ability or their resilience to environmental factors that may arise, such as a global pandemic, the programs they have in place for the communities they work in, the safeguards they have in place for their staff and employees, all these aspects will come into your decision-making process when you're looking at companies to invest in in future. In terms of how brands should react to this global crisis, it's, it's been really challenging to say the least. Regardless of your brand positioning, you now have to throw away everything you know, all your strategies, all your campaigns, and rethink where your place is as a brand in this new global narrative. Uh, this global narrative has a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of sadness and suffering, whether it's economic or personal, and a brand has to be mindful of that now while communicating. You need to figure out, are you the brand that provides comfort, a brand that provides convenience, a brand that provides functionality? And at the same time, communicate in a way which is empathetic to what everybody is, is going through at the time being. Thankfully, our clients at Media Republic have been brave uh, and we've been able to, to adapt in a way that's very agile to, to deliver on, on what they've needed to do. And for the most part, our clients have been very receptive and very active in wanting to be part of this narrative. The only advice I can give to SME owners, being an SME owner myself, is hang in there. It's going to be a very long journey. Um, I think it's obvious when you're watching the news that this is not going to be a one or two month experience. It may be three, six months. I've even heard CEOs of global companies talk about effects lasting for up to one year. But you got to remember something. Absolutely everyone is going through this around the world. Nobody is an exception. This is the time to identify new revenue streams. We've had some revenue streams that had stopped completely by mid-March, and we've actually opened up old revenue streams we thought we didn't want to pursue anymore, suddenly became in, in demand. So we've restructured certain parts of our business to be able to provide that. You're not alone, we're all in this together, and hopefully we'll all come out okay on the other side. Good luck, everyone.